This is a um, this is a demonstration of the Siegel effect. I'm Siegel Steven Siegel, an expert witness in the field of leather. What we're testing for is to see if leather this uh, samples that we have are fully vegetable tanned. And we're going to demonstrate the Siegel effect that any of y'all can do at home. Sample number one is um, goat skin. It's uh, chrome tanned. We're going to drop it in some boiling water, and it just does, it does not shrivel up immediately, indicating it's chrome tanned. Vegetable tanned leather is very sensitive to heat; will shrivel immediately. Next sample, sample two, is uh, book binding leather. Looks very similar. It's very soft. It's uh, goat skin, 100% vegetable tanned, and we drop it in the water, and it instantly curls up like a cutting worm. See low effect demonstrated. Sample number three. Sample number three. This is fair goat. 100% uh, vegetable tanned, so, something we do ourselves. And we're going to test this to make sure, to see that it's 100% vegetable tanned. It, this should shrivel immediately upon hitting the water. And it does. This sample is a sample of, uh, light colored sample of uh, leather that someone may think is veg. But it's chrome tanned, it's cowhide, and if the seagull effect works, then this should not shrivel immediately, as it's not 100% fetch. And sure enough, it does not. Next sample, this is, a, this is some leather we make, which is 100% veg for garments, made out of goat skin. And we'll drop it in the water, see if it scents, if it shrivels up to prove that to see the seagull effect at work. And sure enough, there it goes. And the last sample is this last sample is something sent to us by an importer, by an excuse me, by an exporter overseas. It claims is hundred percent veg, but exporters of Leather that's a, that claim that's 100% veg are only about 50% reliable. So let's see if this leather was veg, or maybe it was made on chrome and then retanned with veg. If it's retanned and this has a chrome base and retanned and veg, it should not shrivel. And it looks like the exporter was not lying. So that's the Seagull effect. I'm Steven Seagull. Thanks for your time.